in this presentation we are going to discuss about the costs of invest different types of costs of inflation mainly first we will discuss about some common conventions regarding the costs of inflation and in the next part we will discuss about the costs of expected and unexpected inflation so inflation has some cost on the people or on the society on the economy so if we ask any common person a common man about the cost of inflation he will first tell that inflation indicates an increase in the price level so whenever the price level increases it will cause a decline in the purchasing power of money so in other words they will say that the inflation causes a decline in the real income of the person so it it will also affect his standard of living it will also affect his purchasing power but according to the new classical economists that purchasing power it depends upon the real wage and real wage is not determined by the price level rather it is determined by the marginal productivity of labor or the marginal productivity of capital for the capital owners so marginal productivities do not change due to inflation so we say that whenever there is a slow inflation rate there will be slow increase in the commodity prices as well as the money wage similarly whenever high inflation rate the commodity prices as well as money wage will also increase at a high rate so what we see here there is the similarity in the increase in the price level and increase in the money wage or nominal wage so consequently the real wage remains same and it is also supported by the quantity theory of money the quantity theory of money especially the cambridge version of the quantity theory of money that explains the neutrality of money so here we see that whenever there is increase in money supply that will affect only the nominal variables consider keeping the real variables unchanged so what are the nominal variables that means the absolute price of a commodity money wage nominal rate of interest so these things will increase whereas the real wage real rate of interest employment output marginal productivity which are determined by the supply side supply side factors that will remain unchanged so in that sense there is if we consider uh, the thing that the real wage will remain same so we can say that purchasing power of the people will not be affected by inflation but still there are some indirect costs of inflation so indirect cost in next slide we will discuss about the so there are two types of mainly there are two types of indirect costs of inflation so there if we consider indirect costs there are two types of costs number one is the cost of expected inflation that means people they are aware about the inflation or they are expecting the inflation to happen so they have prior idea about inflation but still there are some costs which are to be faced which the people have to face similarly there is costs of unexpected inflation that means whenever the inflation is not expected or it is unanticipated but still it has some costs so this time we can say the costs are not in terms of money or direct cost there are some indirect costs or social costs so in next part we will discuss it so one famous costs of the one famous direct cost sorry costs of expected inflation that is called shoe leather cost so whenever we see that there is inflation in the country this inflation is expected so people they the nominal rate of interest rises and the money the value of money balance in the hand that will decline so people often have to visit bank frequently so that's why 
there is the wear and tear of their shoes which is known as shoe leather cost but one thing is to be remembered that the concept of the shoe leather cost of inflation was introduced whenever we did not have the modern facilities like internet banking or mobile banking or just going now you can also transfer money to going to the atm card atm center or atm counter so this type of facilities were not available that time so to get money or to deposit money people had to visit the bank frequently so if the money if the money supply is sorry if the, there is inflation in the country the price level increases the nominal rate increases the people have to visit frequently to the bank and for that their shoe the value of their shoe will decline which is known as shoe leather cost second thing is the called it is called menu cost the menu cost is normally it comes from the restaurant the restaurant hotel so whenever there is inflation they have to increase the price of their items so also they have to print new menu cards new catalogs and they have to print the catalogs distribute the catalogs they have to reprint the menu cards for this they have to pay they have some cost which is called menu cost so menu cost though the concept come came from the restaurant and hotels but it is also applicable for the other commodities also for the you can say the fabric companies the car companies so everyone has to every company has to face the menu cost during inflation and third thing is that whenever they are we are talking about the menu cost so whenever we want to change menu it takes some time because we have to order to the printing house it will be printed then it will come back so in the meantime the price level can increase further so that's why what we can say that there is a mismatch between price level and inflation rate so many times what we see whenever the farms are in doing the menu costs they cannot cover the inflation rate by the new menu or new prices so whenever the new prices they finally get their menu cards there is further inflation so the price the price that is changed through their menu or the through their we can say catalogs that does not cover the inflation rate so this this is a case of that there is it causes some change efficiency efficiency cost okay so it creates some kind of inefficiency the lag between the inflation rate and the rate of change in price by the farms because of that lag there is some inefficiency for which we find there is the inefficiency inefficiency cost on different several farms the next problem is mainly faced by the taxpayer especially the people who invest on different types of assets like stocks bonds and also you know, depositing the money in the bank so what we see there is the interest on the capital gains but whenever there is inflation we know that during inflation there is only increase in the nominal interest rate but real interest rate remains same so in terms of real value of your asset that does not increase only you, the nominal value of your assets increases so whenever the nominal value of the assets increases what do you happen the government imposes tax on the nominal value of assets not the real value of asset so the government imposes tax on their gain in terms of money not in real sense so though their real value of the asset or real interest rate on the asset is not increasing they are the people are taxed more on the basis of their increase in nominal interest rate and nominal gain from the assets so what do you find that whenever there is inflation the there is some additional tax or additional burden of taxation which are to be borne by the investors who earn some return from their assets and next thing there is the also there is also problem from the consumer side that is because of as the as inflation takes place there is change in the value of money so that time 
the intertemporal choice of the consumer becomes very tricky. So it is very difficult for the consumers to choose between present consumption and the future consumption. So to choose between the consumption and savings because the money is normally used as a store of value. But whenever we are there is frequent inflation, the store, the real value of the money that that is changing continuously. So for that, the it is very difficult for the consumers to make proper or appropriate choice between present consumption and the future consumption. Now we are considering the case of an unexpected inflation. That means people have no idea about that kind of inflation or sometimes what we can say the rate of inflation, the actual rate of inflation which is the exposed that differs from the expected rate of inflation which is ex ante. So in such situation we often find that there is a, this is some kind of distortion. So whenever the ex inflation, actual inflation rate is different from the expected rate of inflation that creates some kind of distortion and because of this distortion there is some kind of redistribution of wealth and if we say that the best example of this type of redistribution is the example of a loan which will be repaid after a certain after a long time in future so we are considering the long term loans. So in this case what we see the debtor and the creditor they are expecting a particular uh, rate of inflation on the basis of which they fix the interest rate. So here what we see the interest rate covers the inflation rate is covering the inflation rate. So nominally the interest rate is set accordingly. Now, if we see that the expected rate of inflation is more than the nominal rate of inflation, so that time the creditor will be the loser. The person who gives loan and who is expecting an increase in its real wealth, the real value of wealth, he will be the loser. Similarly, if we say that the expected the real rate of actual rate of inflation is less than the expected rate of inflation in that case the data will be worse off because he has to then in that case he has to pay more so the that means that creates a redistribution of wealth and next another thing is that the people who have the fixed pension. So fixed pension is the deferred payment of their earning from the farm. <coughs> so whenever the that is the, the deferred earning of the workers who work in a particular company and farm pays it. So if we see that the expected rate of inflation is more than the actual rate, sorry, actual rate of inflation is more than the expected rate of inflation. So definitely that will create a real loss for the, the loss in the real terms or real terms of value toward to the pension holders. So in both cases, we what we see if the higher is the rate of inflation, higher will be the distortion. That means higher will be the dispersion from expected rate and higher will be the distortion and redistribution of wealth. So in this case, what we see that inflation, be it expected or be it unexpected, both cases, in both cases, inflation has some social cost on the people. So what we see that inflation, though in case, in terms of the monetary theory or in terms of the monetarist view of inflation, and as per the neutrality of money, inflation only creates an increase in the nominal values, keeping the real values and purchasing power unaffected. Still, there are some social costs of inflation or the inefficiency costs of inflation, which the people have to bear. 